As I always say, plastic makes perfect. So my husband gave me an enema for the first time because with all of the painkillers that I had to take for my tummy tuck, he warned me about the constipation, but the warning is nothing to the comparison of what experiencing that kind of pain is. I mean, it was worse than childbirth. You're sitting there on the for a an hour just to get a pebble. A pebble. Is that what we got? I just went through all that. I took off the garment. Is that what we did? So finally, he's like, I think we need to do an enema. And I was really reluctant. I said, I think I want my mom to do it. And he was like, will you just stop? And he's like, it's better if you get down on all fours. And I was like, really, can my mom do it? Please, can my mom do it? And he's like, will you stop? So for me, that is the ultimate true love. My husband wipes me, cleans me, does my hair, and makes sure that I get all the out of my body. So if that's not true love, I don't know what is. Perfect. Sorry if that's TMI, okay? I'm a doctor's wife, so there's nothing that I won't speak about. People have even asked me if I got my butt done because he cinched me up so much in my waist that now he gave me like a little peach. You know, it's like a little BBL without the BBL. So I'm just like, okay, kill two birds with one stone here. And it's good that I married a plastic surgeon. I saw how I looked on camera last season and you know, you don't see yourself until you see yourself from the outside looking in. And I was like, wow, is that like what people see? I, I know I look better than that and I can do better than that. So it started off with my breast reduction. So I got that first, which, you know, I always look top heavy. <laughs> And after that, I did liposuction in my back, which took out four pounds. That's, that's like the maximum it could take out. And then I wore the compression garment, and you see that on the show, obviously. Um, and then I did, I liked feel, being smaller. I liked feeling smaller, so I did, with controlling my diet, lose a total of 25 pounds since last season. And then at that point, Bill was just like, you are absolutely the perfect candidate now to have a tummy tuck. And then I was like, you know what, I don't even know if I want that big scar. And, and then obviously the pouch. I just always had the pouch. And he was like, you'll never get rid of that unless you have a tummy tuck. And you are the ideal candidate at this moment in time. So it's coincidence that it, I happened to be on the show, but it's not something that would have happened. It, it's something that would have happened either way had I been on the show had I not been on the show because of the timing. Like I see some of these other plastic surgeons wives, I, I said it in my interview, they're like here and they're like here. I mean, he literally has to come to the house and he'll be looking into my eyes and I'll think, oh my God, he's being romantic. And then he looks at me and he's like, you're due for your Botox. You can use some filler over here. And I'm like, he's like, you never come into the office, come into the office, come in. And I'm like, huh, do I have to? I had to go to Costco today and I had, you know, I had to go pick up some stuff for the kids and like going to Target is so much more exciting to me than going to Eden Plastic Surgery. Um, so it's not really even any pressure. I don't care because I feel comfortable how I feel with no makeup on. I feel comfortable with my hair in a bun and I really don't feel any outside pressure. Like if any pressure comes from, from me, it's because I want to look better and I want to do better. At the end of the day, I'm married. No refunds. He's stuck with me, whether he likes it or not.